So for those of you who don't know who Amaranth is, she's a huge YouTuber and streamer who also does spicy content. That's right, another one of those. So almost all of Amaram's videos were really pushing the line of YouTube's community guidelines. Stuff like bikini try-ons, and she made videos like gym sessions and playing with a puppy. Like, where's the puppy, bro? It's literally just an excuse to show her ass. 99% ass, 1% puppy. So before this, Amaram's ASMR channel got banned by YouTube, which is her second channel. ASMR is like making noises into the microphone. You weird, buddy. You're weird. Now her main account is banned, which had over 1 million subscribers. So she is done. Permanently banned from YouTube. Some people actually think this is karma because her whole channel is literally just a funnel to get people to buy her OnlyFans. She did post on Twitter that she doesn't regret a thing. And hey, I wouldn't regret it either if I made nearly $60 million just from OnlyFans. Like that's where she's making the big money, not YouTube. So I guess it was worth it. Yeah, she made $57 million since COVID. Oh my God. OnlyFans. Whoa. Like, how would you, like, if you married that girl, how would you tell her to get a regular job? I wouldn't. You can't. I'd be sure. happy she did it, yeah. yeah. If you're a guy who marries her and you think you're going to rescue her Ugh. and pull her out of there and she's making $57 million, it's you have the, to just accept that's her job. Half of it's from the messages part, which that's what you were just sort of saying, like, probably not her messaging. Right. $27 million worth of messages. Whoa. Wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 27 million guys, $27 million in money has been sent by guys? Well, that's just yeah, sending yeah. it her directly as a message i love you 10, 10 million in just tips that's on top of that's just oh thank you for doing what God. you're i'm already paying you. so amaranth is still not banned on twitch but she has been banned over 10 times there maybe it's time to make it permanent all of this for minor mistakes hey most of these aren't even my fault look at this list though considering i stream for mostly on twitch every day for 12 hours i'm pretty good at dodging bans Look at this dude. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> she was a big pioneer of the Twitch hot tub meta, which was where these OnlyFans girls would push the rules as far as possible to basically show as much nudity as possible without getting banned. Twitch has a rule that you can only wear a bikini in a hot tub setting, so these girls would literally be playing games and have a tiny kiddie pool in the background, so they were technically following the rules. It was outrageous. It was an outrageous era of Twitch, and an entertaining one. This one's a bop. Okay. Like, these girls were like Albert Einstein, sitting there all day, coming up with ways to get around rules. Ironically, that one had the least nudity. Yeah, we all stayed for the Fortnite. Amaranth also sold her farts in a jar for a thousand dollars a few years ago, and it actually sold out. I guess her fans were really thirsty for her wet farts in a jar. You had a bunch of simps, you know, sniffing her farts like you'd sniff petrol from a gas station. Even Moist Critical boarded, and he had to wear like a hazard suit. She also claimed her ex-husband was forcing her to do OnlyFans. To watch TV shows again. I'm just really excited to get back to the type of content in life that I want. The content I want to do animals and I don't have to wear cleavage every day. <laughs> I can wear clothes. More IRL streams with friends and traveling and animals. Yeah, animal streams where it's literally just us. So a lot of people thought she lied about this because unsurprisingly, she did not change her content one bit, even after the divorce. And it actually probably got even more explicit. Like every time she had a day where she didn't gain followers, she'd do a hot tub stream for a month. Like her whole Twitter is just bikini photos and borderline nudity. So it seems like she wants to do OnlyFans and no one is forcing her to do it like she claimed. And hey, I'd want to do it too if I made 60 million dollars from it but to pretend you're forced into it is pretty terrible so she actually tweeted youtube about this 
Hey Team YouTube, you deleted my main YouTube channel. It suddenly got removed without warning. There were no strikes or infractions. You also at the same time deleted my personal YouTube channel that I don't make content on. It just has a YouTube premium subscription. What's next? You're going to take out my Gmail and search, thereby forcing me to use Bing. So that's it. The end of Amaranth. What do you guys think? Good, bad, justified, not justified? Let me know in the comments. And if you did watch the whole video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Since I'm not getting any views at the moment, the algorithm's not giving me any love. Maybe I'll go subscribe to Amaranth's OnlyFans, get some love there. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please subscribe and I'll see you later.